Hello and welcome to another plan with me in my classic planner with the lined vertical layout. I'm planning for the week of the 23rd to the 29th of September. It's the last full week in September that I'm planning and I'm using this kit from uh, Paper Chic Plans. Um, it comes with this cute little sampler and in this beautiful vellum. And this kit is called Stay. It is a full kit. And it's kind of, I think it fits for this last week, it fits for me for this last week of September because I'm not quite ready to go for autumn kits. I will be starting Halloween kits next week obviously because October, but uh, let's have a look at what we got. So I did order the date covers as well, so there's the date covers and there's the uh, double box. I don't think I'll be using the double box. And here are your full boxes your check boxes, uh, labels and little things, half boxes, habit trackers and labels, some more checklists, some icons, and some more bits and pieces for your sidebar, your washi sheet, and then you've got this cute little deco sheet as well. Is that a strip of washi? No, that is not a strip of washi, that's just a... So you've got this deco sheet as well. So that's the kit that I'm going to be using. I'm going to pop my inserts out and we can get started. Okay, so let's start off with the washi. Then we can move on from there. That's my washi page. So I'm loving this kit. It's very muted colours, very soft and kind of links nicely between being full autumn and full summer, it's just that perfect in-between. So we'll, I like it, it just fits perfectly. Um, do, 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 line that up. So for this week, it is Thursday now when I'm filming this and uh, it's been an emotional week, I'm going to say, very emotional. Um, those of you that know me know I've got um, anxiety and uh, depression and so on Tuesday I went to go register to do this dancing Forum Dancing Cancer Research UK fundraiser thing. And um, I had to take the bus. So it was two buses. I left with plenty of time to spare. Um, because the second bus that I'd get would have got me there either just on time or too early or too late. So knowing what traffic's like in my city, I left, I went, got the first bus and that first bus was running a bit late. So I missed the one that would have got me there too early. But it was fine because I still had the other one that would get me there just on time. And I'm standing at the bus stop and there was another bus at the bus stop because the stop has multiple buses use it. And the bus I wanted comes round past the, the bus that sat there and just carried on driving. And I'm stood there waving at the bus driver and he's just laughed at me. So I'm running alongside the bus waving at him and he's laughing at me. And I just felt completely humiliated. Not just that, I was heartbroken because I really want to do this, this dance thing. You know, it means a lot to me. And now I've got this idiot who's basically taken that away from me and that really, really hurts. I'm just gonna pop down my to-do headers. You know, how, how could somebody be that selfish? And I, so I felt humiliated and because it was the first session, it was the registration session and we get paired up with our partners. 
so I was like okay well that's it I can't do it I've not registered I don't have a partner it was made very clear to us at our uh, induction meeting that you know we needed to be there it was important that we were there that day um, because of all this that was going on and I wasn't there and so I felt I that missed my place you know I wasn't gonna be able to do it I, it was really really soul destroying um, and I was trying my hardest to keep it together I really was and there are lots of other fundraisers that I like to do for cancer research I'm a very big believer in cancer research UK they're a fantastic charity um, so I like to do the race for life as well um, especially when they do the, the pretty muddy ones which are always great fun um, I'm going to put my date covers on top of this washi because you can still see through that a little bit so in case you're wondering why I'm not putting my date covers down just yet um, so it was I was upset and just fed up and angry so yesterday for me was a bit of a sulk day as I might like say I just felt awful I felt shaky I was exhausted um, my heart rate was just constantly going way above what it should be and I just felt physically sick so uh, went through that and then this morning I got a message do I still want to take part if I can get there tonight to register I can still take part because they haven't had they've got an odd number of people and they need partners so I am probably gonna end up being partnered with somebody else um, you know it's not like I'm gonna have my first joint starts partners anymore but yeah it's gonna be good I'm excited so yeah I can't wait to, to get into it and get dancing. Um, my son had a detention this week as well because, and this this is the bit that is really, my, my husband finds this highly ironic. My son lost his school planner. I repeat that, my son lost his school planner. So you can imagine how that made me feel. <laughs> I just felt so, oh, I felt betrayed. How do you lose a planner? Um, you don't just lose a planner like that. It's not possible. But he did, he lost his planner. And, uh, so I'm uh, just reeling at the fact that he lost his planner. So of course he's lost his planner. He then didn't, rem he did his homework, but he didn't remember when it needed to be in for, which FYI was Monday. Um, so he's got to school on Monday, not had his homework in. So he's got a detention for not doing his homework. And um, he got very lucky that he only got the one detention because he forgot to take his PE kit as well because he didn't have his planner, he doesn't have his timetable, so he forgot his PE kit. And the gym teacher says you do PE in your school uniform then. So my son took his jumper off and forgot it. He lost his jumper. Now that's another 20 pounds. I've got to spend on a new jumper for him. So needless to say, I was not impressed with that. I was very, very, very angry at him for that. But anyway, so I've now got to try and find some time 
on the weekend to get up to the school supply store to get him a new jumper, which is easier said than done because hubby is working late all of this week. So, well, I say working late, so he's working, um, his shifts have changed, so he's working full, full days, so he's working from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, running shifts. So, getting the time to go and purchase a new jumper is not going to be easy. Um, but we'll try. That's all we can hope to do is try. If not, he's just going to have to wait. I mean, we're lucky the weather's still not autumn yet. It's Still really nice days you can walk around with just a t-shirt on um, so yeah we'll see got to try and get there at some point okay that's all my check boxes down so let's move into the sidebar now let's have a look what above the sidebar I have got those I need that I need those Okay, dokie, let's see. Um, I only have eight full boxes. What do I want to put up here? I'm going to put the pen and planner up here. meds. Let's put a piece of washi first. Um, these track my meds and my um, my reading. <sighs> Sorry, my hands are really shaky today still. Um, So yeah, I'm shaking terribly. So if these aren't going down straight and it's irritating you, I'm really sorry. I'm doing the best I can. Um, it's just really hard. So the next thing I want to do is put down my, have I got? So I can put down this workout because I like tracking my steps. This is not working for me today. <laughs> no, that's just going to tear. Oh well, it's just going to have to be skewed. Um, and then I can put this down to mark my steps. And then I'm going to put down another one for my dinners. this to track my meal planning for the week there we go okay sidebar is not looking great but um there's not much i can do um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put down my full boxes and i'm going to do it a little bit differently i'm going to put the full boxes along the bottom um just because i think it would look really nice all along the bottom as opposed to in the middle so I'm going to start off with the, I'm going to start off with this one here. Oh. Um, next week, the quiet one. I've got a few bits and pieces, but nothing massive coming up. So um, it is my sister's birthday. Well, my sister and her husband's birthday is on the same day. So we've got that. 
I want to put the girl on in the middle. Um, so yeah, my sister and her husband have got their birthday on Tuesday. I'm, I'm not going to see them, but I will send them a, a little text to say, Happy birthday! I love you, because I do love them. Um, and then I've got my dance classes. That's it, really. Um, but there are a few things I want to do around the house, so we'll get to see those are going in as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go through where's my headers. I'm going to go through it. First thing, I'll put my weekend banner down here. I'm liking that my weekend banners go down there. It looks quite cute, actually. Um, there we go. I'm starting to warm towards weekend banners a bit. Not massively, but a bit. And I'm just going to go through and put down a today header. So sorry guys, I'm shaking so badly. Um, so I didn't upload a vlog because obviously I thought the amount of footage I had for Monday wasn't enough to, to justify a video. So I thought I'm just gonna leave it and I do a video with all of that plus this week's ready to go up on Monday. But obviously when I thought that it was no longer possible, kind of deleted some of the footage I had. So I'm now left with nothing, <laughs> but have no fear, it will still be going. I still do my thing. My vlog thing, just a week or oh, too late. <laughs> um, oh, I've got to go for a meeting with my daughter's school as well on tomorrow, um, because they are going away on a residential next this year. Well, next year, this school year next actual year um and so it's all about what to do on what they're going to do on the residential how much it's going to cost and all of that so i've got that to do tomorrow and then i've also got to hand in my paperwork so that i can start my volunteering at the school so i'm going to go through and put in one in my husband's work schedule and then yeah i'm going to put in my husband's work schedule so i've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to use these labely ones here just to mark his work. Nope, because he's off then. He starts work Wednesday. so exhausted um, we are toilet training my little one and she is she was doing so well um, she was dry she's dry in the day and then she was dry all night until last night she had an accident and she woke us up it was about three o'clock in the morning 
and I was just too tired to be dealing with changing sheets and everything so she came into our bed and I regret it now because I didn't get much sleep. Mm. Sorry, just having a sip of tea then. So, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. What are we doing Monday? Monday, I am, I've pre-ordered Aladdin, so that should be arriving Monday. So I'm gonna use the unicorns. I need to go food shopping. And I want to clean the dishwasher. So. Um, to mark the release of Aladdin, I'm going to use one of these labels. And then I've got from Kane Studio Planning, I've got these little unicorns eating popcorn. That's to mark Aladdin's release. Then I need to go food shopping. So I'm going to use a squared off half box for that. Now I'm going to use a patterned half box. And we last week we did an Aldi shop and um, let's just say our shopping was a lot cheaper than normal and I'm quite a savvy shopper very very focused I don't tend to put lots of extras into my basket and uh, so these are from Happy Cutie Studios my little shopping baskets and then to clean the dishwasher I'm just going to use a little label Um, and yeah, it came down massively, so I think we're going to be doing that more often. And I've got these from Managing Mischief Co. Little dishwashers, just so I can mark cleaning the dishwasher. There we go. On to Tuesday, it is my sister's birthday and her husband's birthday, so I'm going to be using a patterned half box to mark that. And then from Happy Cutie Studios, I've got these little birthday cakes. I'm going to use this one here. This is birthday with all the hearts on it. Um, oh, perhaps I should fill this in. So I'm using my Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner in the 0 0.3 tip. seconds guys okay I'm back sorry about that it was the postman so that is a London DVD doing a food shop oh, that's a clean dishwasher so it is Sammy and Ben's birthday And then I'm dancing as well. Um, I've got anything that I can use to mark dancing. Um, no, I haven't. Um, these three flags because I have three dance lessons so if I pop one of these down here it's 
mark dancing and then I can put sea cadets because my son has sea cadets on the label I'm supposed to be doing a um, like a course with the sea cadets. Um, oh yeah, daycare. Take off. Um, where he's learning some sailing techniques, and um, he was supposed to start that today. But because of the weather getting quite dark quite quickly, they've. Uh, cancel it and they're going to try and look to do it either on a weekend or in the half term. So I don't need to worry about that. So Sea Cadets. I'm going to pop in my British Bake Off sticker. Um, well, let's do my daycare one. So I'm going to just use this label first. Koala's feet and the sorry the koala is from Happy Cutie Studios. No, they're not they're not gonna pick up. Oh well he's gonna have his feet cut off. Um no more daycare. And then the Great British Bake. And so dance is seven to eight. So Wednesday, hubby's doing a seven till seven. Um, got nothing planned event wise, but Wednesday I want to do designing um, so to mark that I'm doing some design work on Wednesday I've got my Happy Cutie Studios little laptops I'm just going to use this little label from the kit Also want to do a deep steam mop session so I'm going to use a spread off half box for that basically just to take up some space really so I'm going to use from Happy Cutie Studios one of these little mop buckets Mop. Okay, so moving on to Thursday. Thursday, Happy is doing a 7 7 again. Um, I've got dance on Thursday evening. Seconds. Okay. 
So from Georgina the Librarian, I've got these film edit and upload stickers. I need to order some more. Um, and to mark that I'm filming, I'm just going to use one of these little bubbles. Teardrop bubbles. Um, I'll just pop that there. I'm going to layer film over it. Smart filming. That's all for Thursday, but I've got some space there if I need to add anything. Friday, Abby is working seven to seven. I'm just going to put in here as well. He's doing seven to four. Okay. Um, so Friday, I've got nothing planned apart from going to the library. And you know what, I'm going to use a bigger a library one. So it's not going to the library. I'm going to use one of these little dragons from my shop, which are the reading ones. I'm going to use a half box. Where do I put those? I'm going to use a patterned one. Um, it's not that I'm taking a little into the library. Um, Saturday, I've got nothing planned, um, but there is Strictly on Saturday night, so let's pop Strictly. These are from Your World of Colour. Let's pop one of these down. Mark Strictly. Um, and then Sunday, I've got dance again. There's one of the dance flags. Here we go. Um, I'm just going to pop it down the bottom here. And because Happy's off, we might do something after dance. Okay, that is it for this week. It's not a very eventful week, I'm afraid. Most that's happening is, oh, I forgot to put my edge snap load on. Um, so let's, let's put that down. So Thursday I film, Friday I'm going to edit, Saturday I'm going to upload. through what I have left on the kit. Um, so that was the full box sheet, it's got nothing on there. I've got all the deco there. I've got one checkbox left. I've got all my checklists and my functional icons. I've got a few half boxes, some build juice. I've got some loads of washi. I've got all my little things. All right, I'm gonna pop this back into my planner and we can have a look at the finished product. Okay, so that's how that week looks then. I like having the full boxes on the bottom here, but I think the next one I'm going to go bottom top and just zigzag them around and see how that looks. But anyway, that's all for this plan with me. If you've enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All right, then you take care now. Bye-bye.